What's up, West? I'm Eli. And I'm Sam, here with your West Press News. Hey, Sam, did you know there is now a health center right here at school? What? I had no idea. Let's see what it's all about. Okay, to come to the Student Adolescent Health Center here, it is actually, it can be free, it can be um, Medicaid, it can be insurances, we will bill all of those. If someone doesn't have the insurance as a community health worker, I can help them or that family see about getting insurance for them, whether it be a Medicaid insurance or a regular insurance. But as far as being concerned for a student, you will come into the door and we would not charge you but your family's insurance or we would put them on what we call a sliding fee scale, which is based upon income for that family. So somebody could come here if they were looking for um, a physical, if they were healthy, if there was nothing wrong and they just wanted a general physical, um, a sports physical. Or they could come here if something was physically wrong, if they had an injury, if they were sick, if they thought they had strep throat, something like that. Um, or for behavioral health services, so we do offer counseling as well, um, so people could come here for any of those. Open 8 to 4.30, so basically any time during those hours. Usually they would have an appointment. If someone was having a really hard time though, um, we could um, call their parent and get consent over the phone to meet with them one time. Um, and then if they wanted to keep seeing me, they'd have to get some paper signed from their, from their parent or guardian. This month, we have two student spotlights to share with you. Well, first, let's hear from Mr. Livingood and Wyatt Fewens about the recent essay contest. Today we asked you a couple questions about okay. the essay contest. So what was your essay about? Uh, so we had the theme, How Are You Inspired By? And it was by uh, our military and veterans. Um, can you tell me about what it felt like to win? Um, surprised because I forgot about the essay itself. Patriot's Pen is put on by the local VFW, which is a veteran of Florence War. And every year at the beginning of the year, we they have a contest and sometimes varies, but it's something about how America inspires you. Uh, I have my honor students, as well as any other student that wants to, enter the contest. The contest ultimately is for money. Um, students can win money based off of writing an, an essay. And so we do that and we submit essays every year and every year we have a very strong showing at West Middle School. This year we had a winner, uh, a local winner, a Wyatt Fewins, and a second place winner. Um, in, in this, both of them in my first hour here. And Wyatt's then, his essay went on to the district competition and he's actually won over $2,000 for that essay uh, in writing it for eighth grade history. So it's a pretty cool thing that we were able to do. Um, can you tell us what's next for Wyatt? Well, Wyatt just got back. He was on an all-expenses-paid weekend down to Kalamazoo, where the v Veterans of Foreign War put him up at the Radisson, which is a great big hotel, and all-expenses-paid. Got a room, got his food paid for, and, and he actually had one breakfast already in his honor, and they gave him a $500 check, and then he went down to Kalamazoo and did another presentation, and he then won a, another 
1500 bucks. so he's got two grand now uh, for writing this essay. And uh, I think that his essay didn't go further. The competition does go further, it goes to the nationals. His did not move on. So if it would have moved on, he could have actually even made more money. But at this point, his did not. It, and it, he went against all kids in Michigan. There was like 15 different districts represented from the veterans of foreign war. And he basically went up against all of them, reading his essay uh, for them. And um, he did quite well. That's awesome. Congratulations, Wyatt. Now let's hear from a West Middle School student with a passion for drawing. What made me interested in drawing was my friends. And one of my friends that goes to this school, she really has me interested in drawing because she's a great drawler. And I want to be just like that good of a drawler that she is. And yeah, I draw. <coughs> When I draw in my free time, it's like during after, like usually after dinner because um, I'm not allowed to have my devices after dinner. My favorite drawing is probably my scene, Kyle, because I worked really hard on it and I just think it's really good. I really tried, really did. And then my mom, she's like, whoa, that's so good. I'm like, yeah. What I draw the most is, uh, people because uh, I can't draw uh, animals. There's an upcoming event at West Senior High. For anyone else here at West Middle School who has a passion for art. Let's hear about the Trash and Show and how you can be a part of it. Trash and is an event in which students have the opportunity to design and create a garment made primarily out of recycled, found objects, and alternative materials. Students are encouraged to use materials that would otherwise be thrown away or recycled to create their garment. However, students have the ultimate choice in deciding what material they want to work with. If you decide to purchase something and use that as your material, that is fine, but the idea here is to get students thinking creatively of alternative materials for clothing. Any 9th through 12th grade student, home, public, or private school is welcome to be a part of Trashin, and middle school and elementary students are invited to participate this year. High school students will be judged for first, second, and third place, and the Viewer's Choice Award is open to all K-12 entries. There is money associated with each of these awards. Registration is due February 29th. Visit trashin.weebly.com for more information and the registration form. Create something amazing and join us for our Trashin Fashion Show. Eli, would you rather hear colors or have a photographic memory? Mm, I would rather hear colors. What about you, Sam? I would rather have a photographic memory. Let's see what other students choose. I'd rather have a photographic memory so then I could look at test answers and then just write them down on my paper. A uh, photographic memory because uh, if somebody says or promises you something, then you can hold it against them for the rest of your life. Your colors. A photographic memory. And why? So I can remember stuff. Okie dokie. Photographic memory because I don't want to hear colors. Hear colors and why? I would hear colors so I can go to a museum and then look around and then hear the color stories. Your colors. Okie Photographic memory. And why? Because then I could cheat off the answers on tests. Okie dokie. I found a new online news source. It's called CBN News, but I can't tell if it's legit. Hmm, let's watch it and decide if it's news. Back to CBN News. We are reporting on Michigan right now. It is temperatures of sand. There is sand everywhere. Um, there's, a, there's pyramids here now. There's a giant ape breaking out of a, a portal. Um... That's kind of weird. Moving on to Chicago. In Chicago, especially O Block, everything has melted. Everything is gone. It is now a pool of magma. Only in O, o Block you will find such wacky shenanigans. Uh, moving on to wherever. In Texas, it is a um, it is sub zero. There's just ice everywhere. It's just ice. There's a giant um, lizard with pink spikes. I don't know. Um, moving on to California. In California, it is an ice age. 
you walk into California, everything's just ice. And scientists are trying to actively investigate this issue, but they can't due to the fact that walking into California will turn you into an ice block and you will be stuck in a position like this. Very interesting. Going to Detroit, this man lost everything. No stairs right here. More on that now. Hello, guys. As you can see right here, this is my house. Get off my lawn. I woke up today, and I Get was going to work, lawn. and I just fell. Get off my lawn. This Get needs off my to... Lawn. We need to do something about this. Detroit is unholy. What is going on? I have child support to pay. I have a job. I have kids to feed, Get technically. My, my wife left me. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have taxes to pay. What Get am I... I'm not lawn. gonna... Oh, shit. Um, I'm... I... Um... Get off my... Looks, looks like we lost signal. That's strange, but... Anyways, in other news, we ha have gotten some information on a town in Sweden that is elected an Onion as their mayor. More information on that with Everett. Um... Uh, the Onion is, like, big. Maybe we don't have that much information, but we do know that an un that an onion has been elected as mayor somewhere in Sweden, in a town. Did I mention it was in Sweden? Anyways. Yeah, that's that's it for our daily broadcast. This is NBC or CBN News Out. I'm starting to think I need a better news source. Yeah, well, for, for laughs, I would rate it a 10 out of 10. Let's see what other people would rate a 10 out of 10. What I would rate a 10 out of 10 is a sunny day on East Bay in my pontoon boat. Even if the motor doesn't start, it'd still be a 10 out of 10. And why? Breathing the smell of fresh air feeling the cool breeze off the water, gazing in amazement at the tropical blue colors, and feeling the warmth of the sun on my skin. All of these things excite me and relax me at the same time. So 10 out of 10, a sunny day on East Bay in my pontoon boat. Thank you. Robotics, because it's very great for the brain. It makes you think in ways that you wouldn't ever before. Plus, it helps with hand-eye coordination. Fettuccine Alfredo, because it tastes good. Okay. Hamburger, because they are really good. They are juicy. Stick around for a fun game of Guess That Sound. This, this is, is West Press, Press signing, signing off. off.